Today Hot Topics May Classes Highlights Best Moment of Momentum 2017 Murillo Kammer at Judge Lifetime Inspiring New Breeders Willie Brown and Elin Verdick commenting the championship Welcome everybody, I'm Francesca Ragno from Arabian Insider. So this is the third and last episode of uh, Arabian Insider Menton Edition 2017. We introduce you with uh, all the highlights that we had this morning. We had all the male classes from Erling to the Stadion. But the most important, we share you the very nice support that people was bringing to the horses. This afternoon, of course, we had the championship, the most important section of the show. But before talking about that, I would like to leave the scene to our reporter, Anna Olson, that went around to ask everybody which was the best memory and moment of this edition of Menton. Let's enjoy. One of your favorite moments in Menton besides the show? Of course, we spent some time on the beach, eh? and then uh, we look for fine restaurants and, and, and visiting Menton. With Haifa, like Don Obi said, she's really amazing at the show, and uh, we are very happy. And the other is the team of Obi was excellent for me. Yeah, on my first time at the show in Europe. Uh, my moment préféré, ça a été dans les juments seniors. Il y avait vraiment une qualité de juments extraordinaire. Et dans les talons, la grosse bagarre entre Wadi et Escalibur. Je pense que cet après-midi, ça va être très très bien. Uh, la classe des étalons. Competing in the first class of Yearling Phillies, Group A. 
Uh, we had a filly by Farid. Her name is Sheikh Al Juman. The Light Ziva. The points from the Light Ziva, and uh, it was very nice. We had a great time with everybody here at, at the Obi Boot. The, the past days and this was for, for sure a lot of fun for us. Mm, op opening ceremony. Uh, the atmosphere it's amazing, the quality of the horses it's really high so it's really nice to be here. Horse related wise was for me uh, two things. We were second with Haifa owned by Al Sayed and shown by a very good friend Arthur which was a very nice moment and the, another moment was um, becoming second with Belladonna also in a very tough class and to represent a lot of European owners and they all were top five and they were all very pleased so it's always nice to see happy owners. No, my best moment was that my filly qualified, well our filly, our homebred filly, so that makes me happy. Cheering for friends and uh, seeing all this high quality horses, it's really nice here and the atmosphere, uh, the location of the show is really amazing. Drinking, of course, but work hard. An important judge in our business from Brazil, Murilo Kammer, was here enjoying the show. Anna also had the chance to sit with him. Let's enjoy. So I'm sitting here with Murillo. How are you feeling today? Not too bad. It was a great day, a good show and very pleasant day. Judging is like uh, something that happens eventually, but I go to shows anyway. So I've been going to shows since 1990, so it's a long time before you were born. <laughs> so which uh, show are you going to next? Uh, next is the show in Stroen, which I have been going for many years and I judged there several times. It's uh, organized by my great friend Neil Sismer and it's a fun show and I know you like to be there too. So. It'll be a fun show. There are others like that are very good for the breed because they are like a garden party and it's a, a lot of sportsmanship and camaraderie. So it's, it's like people getting, friends getting together to enjoy the horse. There's no urge to win. So it's a very nice, it's very good for the breed. Can you tell me about the, the best memory you've been having from the shows here in Menton? Well, I, I, I think today uh, there was a mare that captured the imagination of everybody. I think most people uh, haven't seen that mare before. And I saw her in the farm where she lives, but I never saw her in the ring. I think nobody ever saw her in the ring. And uh, she got the highest scores from the show. And, that's, uh, and it's amazing because shows sometimes seem a little... Uh, repetitive, so the same horses come back for the show. Uh, it's nice to to see that there are still great horses out there that are not being taken to the shows. So if you have to choose your favorite horse through your entire life, who will that be? It has to be my first mare that I bought in 1991 in the United States. She really captured my imagination and my desire to have uh, more horses you know she had a tremendous personality and uh, she was a great showmare in her time in the United States she is the grandmother of Robin Kay who I bred and was world champion and her name is Gypsy Wind by Bay Shaw out of uh, an Aladdin daughter that was imported from uh, Sweden I bought one and then I bought more because of her, and her name is Envy Gypsy Wind. The favorite thing about being a judge? It's a very rare opportunity for people who, li who really like horses, is to be in the middle of a group of exceptional horses. For people who love the uh, Arabian horse, is an incomparable opportunity. It's a big responsibility because you know almost everybody who's showing. Almost all of them are your friends and only one is going to be happy. So it's not a good situation. So, But it's, it's very nice. I enjoy very much judging.
One of the most important goals of Arabian Insider, besides cover the show and bring you all the information about Arabian horses, it's also, as we broadcast all over the world, to convince new breeders and also new people to come in our business and convince them about our deep passion about Arabian horses, why the Arabian horse is so important and spectacular for us. So I went around the VIP tables, asked this question to everybody, just to give an advantage, a reason, a reason for new breeders. Let's enjoy. Thank you to be here with us uh, here in Mendon. It's fine to see you in the European side of the world. <laughs> so which is your encouragement for new people to come here in our business? Uh, well, I, I just want to say to those people that we are all passionate about our horses and this is something magical. So when you come here with us and you see those horses, we are not sharing just a little part of life, but a high part of our life and our hearts. And so this is something we want to share with those people, definitely. So please come and just enjoy with us, enjoy passion and just discover our world. And Arabian horses are like magic. So you will not be disappointed, definitely. This is what I just said to my friends. Please come and discover that world. This is my passion, this is my life. I want you to discover that. And I think that she is enjoying a lot. Ah oui, c'est vraiment un super concours. Le cadre est magnifique et les chevaux sont super beaux. C'est vraiment top. It would be my advice to have your whole family join in with camaraderie to breed the most beautiful horse in the entire world. And you can do it as an individual, but as a family, for the children, for the, the husband, wife, it is very good. And it will take you places and you will meet people that you would never imagine in your entire life. It's a wonderful experience and you get to come to fabulous places such as Menton. Se è una cosa che sentono dentro, è una passione che viene da dentro, possono iniziare subito. Bisogna amare i cavalli, bisogna amare gli animali. È bellissimo. I would suggest anybody that is looking to get into the Arabian horses, um, whether it be for pleasure or for business, first and foremost, they're the most intelligent, friendly breed there is. They're also the longest breed, they're the mother breed of all other Horses. Il cavallo arabo è un cavallo molto affascinante, ti prende tantissimo e una volta che lo acquisti non puoi più farne a meno di uscire da questo mondo, è troppo bello. Yeah, the Arabian horse to us is very special and uh, we always try to get new people in the business and uh, yeah, to show them the Arabian horse how beautiful they are and uh, also what you can do with them, you can ride them and, and such amazing animals also for children. I think the most important thing is that um, for somebody coming into the business to find out about the Arabian horse is that they, they need to see how it will change their life. The Arabian horse is a unique horse, different than any other horse in the world. First of all, it's the oldest horse. It's over 3,000 years old. It's the most beautiful horse and it interacts with man. So the passion and the love of the Arabian horse for a hobby, for a business, is nothing like it in the world if you love horses, if you love animals. The Arabian horse is, a, is absolutely the most remarkable animal to, uh, to bond with people. And they're beautiful. They've got a rem remarkable history that goes back thousands of years. And I think the most important thing is first love the horse. Then, if you're, if you're selecting to breed, is figure out why and what and who you're trying to breed for. Are you breeding for yourself? You have a, a, a purpose or a direction you want to go? Or do you want to come and show? Or do you want to ride your horse? There's so many things you can do with an Arabian horse. By all means, they're beautiful. And they make phenomenal family horses, excellent show horses, excellent endurance horses. They're the most versatile breed there is. And we just love them. So. I would encourage you to share our passion. The Arabian horse is such a fantastic individual that it is the bridge between all cultures, religions, countries. We all join in and with our hearts, we be our friends, we love each other, and we love the horse. And it's for this breed that it unites us all. Let's go back to the championship, the most important moment of our show. So this afternoon we enjoyed a very nice championship. The quality was exquisite. We had here most of the beautiful horses in the world. 
So I had the chance to have two special guests with us, Willie Brown and Ellen Verdick, speak about the championship and their, um, yeah, their idea about this, uh, this championship day. Let's enjoy. Now, Mentor in 2017, um, as always, it's always a good show to attend in Europe. I think the vibe is really good. Oh, yeah, it's and remarkable. And having a show next near to the beach and the coast, I think it's really something exciting. Oh, it's very exciting. I haven't been here for over 20 years. This yeah. has been the first show for, and I was always here for the beginning shows. And, and uh, now it's, uh, I forgot how magical the yeah. place is. It really is beautiful. Yeah, and always the quality of the horses. I think the standard is really high. Um, always with the show, you have some surprises. and. It's not everyone has the same kind of taste in Arabian horses, but at least at the end of the day, I think the good horses that needs to get to the top um, normally gets to the top. Yeah. Well, it's an exceptional group of horses, I, and that is that was very fun to see because, uh, from like I mentioned uh, many many years ago, there weren't that many horses. There was, and uh, they were high quality, but this was very difficult, especially the females. Um, you you really had to work to choose who you would choose, uh, pick yeah. out of the group yeah, of them. For yeah, for sure. And even in the earning class, it was really exciting. Um, I think the filly that won the class, the Al Jasmia filly, yeah, it was really, really, I think a high quality filly. But also the, I think the Galil, Galil Al Shaka yeah. filly was really something interesting. And I she think. was an, a, an outstanding winner, and she stood yeah. it out. Uh, but the little grey filly that was right behind yeah. her, it's also going to be yeah. quite a quite a uh, special horse later on as she grays out. And it's also very interesting, I mean, in the junior female class, it was quite a surprise, I think, yeah. with the winner, because yesterday she didn't have that a good kind of show. And... I watched her show in the United States, and, and she always has been an extremely very uh, excellent show horse. Yeah. And uh, and But yesterday she wasn't quite up to uh, to yeah. the to his par and the and it was very close and you had what a world champion and then right next to her it yeah. was a it was an excellent class yeah. it was one of my favorite classes and you could have seen it go any direction but I was I have to admit I was rooting for Mosin because she's a yeah. she's a really pretty oh, very type yeah, yeah very yeah. typey the big surprise was the senior mayor class with the Shiran having the highest score yesterday at the, um, in the class. I think she's really something. Well, you know, I sat with many people that have been in this for many years, and she's the type of horse that you look at. And even though you can maybe find some things that you could like to have better, she was, she had such high quality. She reeked of elegance, of beauty, and what you would expect from something, um, you know, that, that we would cherish as much as this. And she was beautiful. I thought no, she, I yeah. I think also she was really well presented. Uh -huh. I mean, she came into the arena at Elf up and yeah. yeah as I no, said, I, I think I've this been... was quite a, for me, it was really a good class. Yeah. I mean, the old mares is always something special to have a look yeah, at. So. Definitely. And she, yeah. won, she won as much as anything because she aged gracefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> The yearling male class was also interesting. This it's quite a, a different kind of pedigree. From, the yearling from Chile, yeah. uh, no, practically nobody really knew about the horse, and he came in and he he totally took away the yeah. arena, yeah. and not even at his best time. He's got a, a kind of an awkward color yeah. and and everything, but he definitely uh, did an excellent job, and and I thought yeah. stood out and and against a beautiful chestnut yeah. horse. I yeah. liked the um, the horse that was bred. Um, the, the, from the, the uh, horse yeah, horse uh, the Radon part. Arabian horse. Yeah. That was a very nice horse, but that was a, that's a good class to see young horses that good, yeah. um, and everything. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. For me, the junior ch championship was also an interesting class. The think. champion and the reserve were were very close to each other in terms of style. They were great. The, the I like the the reserve champion especially because he's straight Egyptian he was the only straight Egyptian here yeah. and uh, and he shows a lot of promise a lot of things that we can use around the world as a breeding I horse. I think so. for sure as an outcross on some of the bloodlines I have in Europe with this Egyptian blood I mean it was quite well moving in the class yep. I mean mm -hmm. and yeah I mean it's not a lot of straight Egyptians that can really compete in no. the show ring anymore no. so I mean he, it's really, I believe he was the only yeah. straight Egyptian yeah. in the show. So for sure something interesting. Yeah and and definitely the saying that one um, the cult that won was a little more mature yeah. Um, a little more fit at this stage yeah. in his life and everything, but I thought it was again. It, it, it's I think most people agreed with the way yeah. all the placings went, yeah. so, except for maybe the owners. That yeah, yeah, I mean it's always the same. Uh, senior male class. I mean this was really from the start. I think it was. Well, I think that they were two totally different styles yeah, of horses, and and sure. one horse would have something in one area that maybe the other horse wouldn't. But um, overall, you 
it was a very it was an excellent class. The two horses are strong contenders, but they're they're like uh, a man liking a blonde yeah. versus a brunette. Yeah, you know, exactly. uh, it's a totally different type of look. And especially in the in the championships, it was really I mean the atmosphere with yeah. the people supporting their favorite style. You know, I think it was really oh the vibe was good. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. and it's it's always good to come to a show. And at the end of the day, it's like there is something the highlight. And normally, it's normally it's with the stallion. So, yeah. and this was really, I think, a really, really, really tough class. And yeah, once again, the again, it's the handlers you, had to really push and work hard in the class to to, to make, make it the happen. Best to happen yeah. I think that many of these classes were so close with the quality of horses, and it was just more of an opinion of what you like better than whether that horse was better than the other yeah, horse. Yeah, it was more yeah. of a choice of. Uh, um, you know what what really made you happy yeah. and, and everything so no it's an exceptional show uh, I haven't been here for many years and it was beautifully run um, you couldn't ask for better weather and uh, a greater environment and I think the horses enjoyed it as much as we did yeah. I think it was a really good show and I mean it's always nice to come to Minton so it's like you see horses and you have can have a little bit of a holiday and yeah. have a break and everything so yeah yeah live civilized <laughs>